All right, guys. We're here. We're live. NFL weekend hey. for the wild card games just what passed. What up, y'all? Uh, we have Carlos, aka Los, aka Public Enemy Fifty Nine. Let's go. Aka losing my eyesight. And then we have JPs, aka Dog Whisperer, aka <laughs> JP Linkster One Hundred One on everything. No, I'm saying only on Twitter though. Linkster One Hundred One and Xbox. Come get it on Dragon Ball Fighters, but he trash. <laughs> and yeah, we're here to talk about the playoffs. So uh, let's start playoffs. off. Let's go big. Playoffs. Let's start playoffs. off with one of the best games of the weekend. That's the Colts versus the Texans. The Texans were the third seed <laughs> in the NFL. <laughs> well, in the AFC. <laughs> and, and they play the Colts at home. Yeah. What, what <clears throat> happened? They got the ass whooped. Got the um, <laughs> that's what yeah happened. um basically the offense very disappointing um uh, mm-hmm. couldn't muster up enough offense against a average i mean but you know prepared defense of the Colts. um uh, and you know andrew luck came to play man he showed that he belongs in that in those discussions he showed me at least. Uh, I know a lot of people thought he already he was an elite quarterback. I had my Hell yeah, doubts, he was an elite you know, quarterback. What do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, an elite quarterback has to do it year in and year out, and he to me he wasn't doing he, it. He, uh, and he I was know doing he, it. I, Actually, well, he was doing no, it with no O line. The no, boy was getting hurt all the time. I mean, I will say this about Andrew Luck: he did play well against the Texans. But then again, let's not kid ourselves: the Texans don't have a secondary. So let's not act like he's the greatest. No, he's not. He yeah, played against he, a team. Wow. He played against a team that had no secondary, uh, no cornerbacks, uh, with speed or with coverage uh, sense. Uh, the defensive coordinator just basically gave him the middle of the field all fucking day. Um, they were playing zone. Uh, they weren't even playing man to man like they should have. And the times they played man to man, they had a safety on the tight end, mm-hmm. uh, and it was a little safety, uh, the honey badger. <laughs> so <safety>. to me, <laughs> it was more like poor secondary and poor defense. Because I've seen Andrew Luck against Jacksonville Jaguars, and that dude was trash. Um, Jaguars says, yeah, they have a really good uh, Well, Well, I mean, I'm just telling you. And, and they're, they're secondary, and they didn't allow a sack. Like, the Colts didn't allow a sack against uh, Jacksonville. But the secondary yeah. uh, was dominating. And that's the thing with the Texans. They didn't have a, a secondary. Uh, the defensive coordinator, does, and I don't know what the fuck he was doing yeah. the whole fucking game. Um, offensively, the Colts did play. I mean, well, the Colts played a real good game, but defensively, they held Deshaun Watson very well. I mean, mm-hmm. um, DeAndre Hopkins had a, a messed up ankle, mm-hmm. uh, and they were double teaming him and like putting a lot of pressure at the very beginning of the game. Right. Um, he had nothing but why? Because Deshaun Watson only had nothing but rookies, um, unproven rookies, and his tight ends have always been trash up to this point. Uh, look, no look, man. Line, it was, it was and, just a, it was just a bad mix for for, for Texas. In the end of the day, you can't. Yeah, you can make excuses for the Texans all you all you want, but in the end, Colts came yeah. to play. They were hungrier. Yeah. Um, they agree. held up they against one of the best defensive lines in the game. They neutralized that defensive line for the most part. Um other than maybe a couple of defensive plays and and a and a tip from JJ Watt. Yeah. I mean for the most part, they held that one yeah. of the best defensive lines in check. That rookie you know, crap, trash uh, O line that you claim uh, the coach <laughs> hey, can have they was, were. was. But they have rookies this year. And, but the year yeah. before, like, they caused his injuries, to be honest, because he was going to sack yeah. like, every five No, minutes. two years ago, because he didn't play last year. That's what I'm saying. Two years ago. That's what I'm saying. They just got these rookies. But, and, and yeah, but that and that's what. Be, but that's, that's going to be a like, recurring theme, too. Just like, keep that I, in mind. Because, I mean, the. I mean, I'm not going to talk too much right now because we're going to go into it. But that uh, the importance of uh, having a, a good O line. Especially between the Colts mm-hmm. and the Texans was highlighted like immensely. Yeah, but I mean that's all general manager and coaching. Yeah, uh, you have to know who what you need on your team. Uh, the Texans they did not come out hungry. The Texans did not come out like they had a game plan. They got out coached, out classed. Yeah. Uh, they got out physical. Uh, they just got Ooh, dominated physical. in all phases of the game. Uh, it was very disappointing to see that because you expected more. Um, I, I don't blame this game on Deshaun Watson. Uh, I was I was looking at highlights and stuff. The dude had one or two seconds to throw, mm. and even then it was really one. Uh, the n- number number sixty eight was playing like crap. 
Um, right. Number seventy is trash. Um, I don't know, no, but it was the bad. guy. I mean, Deshaun had a, a lot of opportunities to catch <clears throat> players to throw it, and he there was a, you gotta you gotta admit it. He underthrew a lot of passes. Yeah, he did. A well, lot of passes were hitting the ground mm-hmm. when he had time, when he had a pocket around him. He threw that pass and they hit the yeah. dirt. But I mean, give the receiver look, a chance. So I'm you, not I'm not blaming it on him. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying all around. Um, yeah, you can't really say oh the Texans didn't do the Texans didn't do that. Colts came ready. If yeah. anything, if there's any blame to be placed for the Texans, it's on the coaching staff. Mm-hmm. Just the I agree. The game plans. The was there a game where, plan? Was there? Game plan? I don't know. That's like, a good question. Let me let me just go through this. Number one, Deshaun Watson came out in the press conference and he was kind of pissed off and he and they asked him why did you underthrow and he was like I didn't have time to step in the pocket, mm-hmm. which makes sense. Uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, there was no plan. Um, T.Y. Hilton once again destroyed the Texans as usual. No, he didn't there was no. Him. He T.Y. had Hilton. like he had he had eighty yards. He home. had sixty three. He had sixty three yards in one series. One series, sixty three yeah, yards. Yeah, that's but for the whole Come game, on. five five receptions, eighty five yards. That's not necessarily destroying us. Well, that's not necessarily um, holding them down either. Yeah, so it's and it's an caught, average game. And he caught anything, crucial. Yeah. And he caught crucial. He did. He, he did crucial catch crucial three. Yes, yeah. three and t- three and tens, three and twelves. So I mean, let's not act like like oh, it's just eight. No, it was yeah. But let's not yards. let's not act like he had a uh, he was tearing the uh, Texans apart. Uh, that wasn't it. And the running game for the Colts pretty much was not really that great uh, until the end. Um, the last two runs when they were uh, when they were just like running off the clock and stuff. So it wasn't like uh, I'm not hyped up about the run. The defense, yeah, defense but still the fact that they the couldn't. Marlon Mack, who the who the <laughs> hell is that? Went uh, went uh, for 148 yards. Yeah. Off of 24 yeah. carries and a touchdown. Right? That, yeah, that's yeah. where. Well, I mean, that's where. That's why I have Andrew, a little Andrew with Luck, the staff. Andrew, Andrew Luck, in his, in, on his own, had 29 yards against the Texans. Yeah. I mean, it was not, bad. not very. Yeah, like, it, it was complete the, annihilation uh, by. Winnie Merciless, Merciless has nowhere has nowhere to be to be seen uh, this whole season. He was there. Yeah, he was there. Um, they, they, <laughs> They overpaid That's another him. thing. You, they overpaid like, him. I, no, I blame that on coaching, bro. You have Whitney Merciless, Clowney, and JJ Watt. All these guys didn't do nothing. I, I don't. I, I, can't, I wouldn't say I can't, JJ Watt. JJ Watt did some pressure. JJ Watt did a tap, bro, a tap ball that became an interception. You have he, he did swat a, former, a couple of balls. You know, two-time mm-hmm. defensive uh, player of the year. Bro, you got to put these guys in better positions to make plays. The I coaching agree. staff can't utilize these guys. But we knew Look, that that like we knew at the very beginning of the season, and and we talked about it. We we knew that the cornerbacks were their main concern, and so was offensive line, and it, it just glared up the whole season. Um, yeah, uh, defensive. Yeah, the defensive backs. Yeah. Rick and Smith. O line. It's just yeah. been a constant glaring hole for this. Uh, yeah. Well, Brian Gaines is there now, so uh, yeah. You so know, he's, he's the gonna, one who had a chance to <clears throat> fix these problems throughout the season. Well, he did it because you got to keep in mind that Rick Smith traded all the picks away to get to Sean Watson. So we only had thank a God. He only thank, had a fourth. Thank you, Rick. He, had a, he only had a fourth. <laughs> he only had a fourth and fifth and sixth round. Otherwise, we would be that, starting Brandon Whedon. Out and there. with a and with the fourth round pick, he picked uh, Kiki QT. Fifth round pick, he picked Justin Reed. So those were great pickups. So you already know the type of general manager that we got who can actually. We'll see. Talent. He has another off season to fix these problems. Mm-hmm. I don't think uh, O'Brien should be there. But Me neither. They didn't make any moves today. I doubt they'll make the moves tomorrow. Yeah. I I doubt he'll he'll be out of the picture. Um. But Indianapolis Colts, man, they came in there ready. Uh, Andrew Luck showing that he belongs in that conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, and <clears throat> not, so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, well, they're, Texans, they're, uh, they're going against. Year, we'll see the, what they. Yeah, but uh, they're going against uh, the, the Colts are going against Kansas City, which is a pretty bad matchup for Kansas City. Because well, Kansas well, City, let's talk about yeah, the other matchups. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, hey, let's but, talk uh, about uh, the uh, other really games. Really quick, though, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think about Steve Smith's comments? On Deshaun Watson about Deshaun uh, so he was saying Deshaun being 21 down uh, being down 21 0 21 he made these first downs he made he made 20 <laughs> he made some first downs and he would start you know doing his boom you know <laughs> like yeah. doing his little thing on yeah. the uh, coach sideline and he said basically like bro you need to shut the hell up if you're like getting stuck like that you shouldn't be I agree. you know Gloating about a first down. 
I mean, but look, that's man. that's the young players nowadays. All the young players they do that. Uh, they tend to uh, do that glowing thing when they're down. Uh, case in point, uh, Jalen Ramsey uh, talking all that shit and, and uh, didn't do shit this year. Um, I mean, it, it's just part of. I think it's part of the young kids' maturation process. Because if I'm down 21-7, I'm not talking shit. I'm trying to score. I'm right. not even worried about doing this. I'm worried about getting to the fucking uh, the, the line and, 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 and moving forward. And that's one of the problems because while he's doing this, the clock is running down. And we were so fucking slow. We didn't even have a fucking uh, no, uh, no huddle. It was like a muddle huddle. I don't know what the fuck they call that stupid shit. And it was taking like 10, 15 seconds. So it was like basically a normal huddle. So to me, he needs to learn how to calm down. <laughs> learn, yeah. It, to me, he needs to learn how to calm down, learn how to be uh, a little bit more mature and, and worry about the game. Talk the shit. Yeah, after. I, 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 yeah, I agree. I mean, me personally, if I'm like in the middle of the that game, wasn't I'm me getting my ass, if, I, if I'm getting my ass whooped, I'm not going to be talking shit. But hey, man, these, sometimes these young guys, they need something to get them going. They get a first down. They want to pump themselves up. They talk a little shit. I don't see a problem with it. I mean, but it, it is a bad look. I think when you end up like, if you're gonna talk shit like that, like back it up, yeah. come back. You know, all they did after that was put up seven points, and that was it. Like, but whatever. I, I ain't really chirping about it. I don't think it's a big deal. I think there's a lot more stories to be worried about than fucking Deshaun Watson celebrating first downs. Like, what, what the hell is this coaching staff going to do? Uh, they haven't done shit. Or uh, what the fuck moves are they going to make? What What is Brian Gaines going to do about our secondary? About, you know, there's a lot more important things well, the, to the, talk the, about than what to worry I can about say, what I can the say, fucking um, quarterback. And just to close the, the topic yeah, off, just to close it out, um, the Texans do have a bright future. They have a franchise quarterback. That's a guarantee. They have... Uh, uh, a good defensive lineman. They have good linebackers. They're about two, I would say free agency is a great blessing for them because Janoris Jenkins is going to be available in the in the free agency. So they get they can get some cornerbacks. They can show it up. Any cornerbacks are better than Jonathan Joseph and Kareem Jackson. Any, mm. any, any. I, I yeah, think, I, I, think, I think they need to let go of Kareem. J. Joe needs to, hey man, needs thank to go. you for Kevin everything Johnson. you've done. But, Kevin you know, Johnson you had know. a great career. <laughs> I think they keep K KJ. Um, no, they shouldn't. They, uh, and, his rookie contract's up already anyway. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't think they should bring back Kareem and J. Joe. They're just not starters anymore. No. Nope. Um, although well, Kareem did have one of, like, his best season with us. Well, they put him as know, a safety. Man. They put him as a safety beginning. But, but regardless, uh, they need to re replace the secondary as far as cornerbacks, uh, get some depth. And as well, offensive line can always be shored up. As we can see by the Colts, it can be shored up by the draft. And if there's a good free agent yep. out there, go get and get it. But Deshaun Watson, I don't want him to be like a quarterback that wastes his time and gets injury prone because we don't shore up the offensive line. Oh, and as, he as had David a good season. He, he, had, he, he was healthy by the end of his, uh, his this whole season. His tendencies are to run. I mean, it, every time you see a running like type of quarterback, man, they don't last. Yeah, that's the truth. I mean, that's the reason why they're trying to make him into a pocket passer. The good thing with Deshaun Watson is that he is a pocket passer. He well, can become a better pocket passer. Let's go into uh, the next game of that uh, Saturday. <laughs> uh, Seahawks at the Cowboys. Yeah. Uh, this game was uh, it was really good. It had, uh, I think, four or five different uh, lead changes. Uh, Seahawks yeah. uh, was were, were kind of a surprise to get there because their yeah. season started off really terrible. Well, mm -hmm. unfortunately for the Seahawks, um, they got an old ass <laughs> kicker uh, who injured oh himself my God. with a kick. Oh, so that really, yes. that really came to haunt them. Yeah, um, really, really early on in that game, uh, really the kicker early. got uh, like Janikowski. The, the very first uh, kick he was gonna do. Oh, well, the first uh, field goal he was gonna do. And no, no, no. It was a. His first it was the second goal. one. It was the second one. It was the second one. It was a fifty-three yarder. It was a kickoff. No, no, it was, it was, a, kick, it was a field was a goal. Kick. He was, he was oh, like 50-something yeah, right. yards. It was a field goal right before the half, I think, right? Something like that. It was, yeah, yeah. I think they were trying to go into the half with points, and they oh, okay, kicked good. it off. Um, and, yeah, it was a long field goal, and right away he was he was done. So the Seahawks went now with <laughs> kickerless, with a punter doing everything. <laughs> and you can uh, tell that punter can't put the that's shit. Yeah, Every man. time they cut to the punter, <laughs> like warming up or trying to practice one of those kicks, it was just bad. <laughs> I, I guess it's harder than it looks, man. It was terrible. I guess it's man. harder than it looks. Like they have one job and I guess 
a punter is just a punter, and, and it just it was bad luck for the Seahawks. The Seahawks uh, came came with fire. They played really well. Um, I thought the penalties at the uh, at the end because the Dallas Cowboys they ran the ball. Um, I think of course Ezekiel, they're gonna run the ball. They have yeah, the Ezekiel Elliott did a really good game. job of like not going backwards. Uh, I'll give him credit for that. He has that yeah. ability uh, uh, yeah, not to go Ezekiel, backwards. Ezekiel Elliott, 137 yards off of 26 carries for mm-hmm. 5.3 average and a touchdown. Uh, yeah. He was the I, just as the Cowboys. I finally learned this is your. The guy who gets your offense going. This is the guy, the battery. Yeah. This right. is the power source. If you can get Ezekiel Elliott going, everything else runs smoothly. The midseason acquisition of Amari Cooper proved big time for yeah, for them uh, mm-hmm. in this game. Coop was just making big well, plays. Well, let, let, let's let's calm making, that let's calm that down a little bit. The Seahawks don't have good quarterbacks. They're playing with. Well, I mean, you're giving Ty yeah. credit for 80 something yards. Coop had 106 yards, so I, mean, I think I'm you need not a, saying you need to not, I, I, you need to well, not be biased to give the guy the same well, credit. Well, okay, that you're let me T-Y. just put it like this. Let me put it like mm-hmm. this. So you already know that much football. Let me put it like this. If Earl Thomas was <laughs> there, that would not have happened. But he wasn't. Um, he wasn't. And so Coop let's calm it down. Let's calm it down. Let's Coop, not act like he's he made a big first down. Let's not act. He's like he's not to our own. He's not to our own. I don't think he's gonna be a Hall of Famer. He made big he's first a good downs. wide receiver who did his job. Um, there were a lot of missed tackles by the Seahawks. Uh, kind of weird, Elias, when it's Coop <laughs> making the plays. He just did his job, but when it's Ty getting eighty something yards, oh, he made big first downs. He did plays. three, three attempts. I mean, no, honestly, in this that game, little... the 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 receiver that was making the big yards was wasn't fucking... them. Was uh, what's his name from uh, the Seahawks side? Oh shit! Um, lock it, lock it, lock it. My yeah. God, that he man was, was fast. See, like, that's nobody what I'm was talking holding about. him. That's what I'm talking about. Cooper, he showed flashes on because there was one that should have been intercepted and it bounced off the the cornerback's hand and it fell into his arms and he took off. Like, uh, and it was like for 40 yards. So that's why I'm like, Lowe's oh, Lowe's always over exaggerating. Like, but, but also, look at the game. but also we gotta talk about receivers. I mean, early in the game in the first quarter. Alan Hearns goes down, and he goes oh, down yes. hard. Man. Bad. Oh, and one of the, I showed the replay. I, didn't even I watch caught it. it. I, didn't even I caught watch it. it. Yeah, yeah, I, well, we yeah, weren't yeah. paying attention. And then JP over here is like, wait, 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 go back, go back. I think rewind. Like, hey, rewind. I already knew. Rewind. When you said that, when you and said it that was I'm like, bad. Like he broke his ankle. He broke, he his broke his knee. in two places. Like that shit. Oh my goodness. That that uh, foot was facing the wrong direction. Let me just tell yeah, you like that. And we slowed it down. <laughs> and we slowed it down. It was so I, like, I feel bad for the guy, man. But yeah. I, but honestly, uh, guys, I don't think I don't think he can come back from that. No, 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 no. Nah, they they already back. said. He's they already said. There, it That's was, bad. We checked That's... for updates prior to this, and yeah, he already said he's coming back next season. Yeah, the doctor said it's gonna be like like eight months, I think, of recovery. Mm. But he looks like it, it looks like he's coming back now. Will he come back like at the level he was at? Probably not. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes with time. But man, mm. that was it was it was bad. It was really yeah. Bad. I mean, tough you, to you, watch so, that kind of thing. You really so. don't you really don't wish on certain players. Uh, like he, he was like, you know, he he was trying to do. I think he, he was trying to do a little too much. He was trying to do a move at the same time, and he got tackled. And the, and honestly, I'm, I will say this: the cornerback kind of did did do a little bit of a foul move, and he kind of moved around to to kind of mm-hmm. whiplash him, mm-hmm. and that's why he landed on his ankle. But I mean, it's football. Uh, stuff like that does happen. We have seen that. Um, you know, shout out to him and Many and times, um, yeah. and Dak Prescott played pretty well. Uh, he did. He, he, he did played, throw. He, he played okay, but honestly, his throws are kind of questionable at times too. <laughs> but that's a, Dak a, Prescott. A lot of them were overthrown. A lot yeah. of them were either underthrown and off, like off center. I love that. Was, I love that. Aiming. Like I love that. I, I but think that, uh, he he got his stuff together though. I mean, he won the game for them. Well, he helped win the game for them. The mm-hmm. the, the one thing that got him got them to win the game. And this is where uh, teams right now, and and they're facing if because they face the Rams next, mm-hmm. and the Rams mm-hmm. can't stop the run, uh, which is beneficial to the Cowboys. Um, which is that uh, Ezekiel Elliott makes that. If you stop Ezekiel Elliott, it's over. Mm-hmm. It's over. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. And if you keep scoring and you stop him, and they're behind 14 points, it's over. The game's over. And Seattle did not did not attack the way I thought they would. Um, Whenever I mean, Seattle, I'm sorry, uh, but uh, Seattle, from what I've seen, they were they were heavy on setting up the QB draw. 
they were heavy with the options and they were heavy like in the beginning in the first half with trying to like okay let's run the ball with our running back and like let's keep that mindset on for them and then later on we'll do like a qb sneak and go off the other side now i didn't really see that much of that in the second half probably it's, it's all game plan like but i i did see that and i did and i did notice like well like how how long how much longer is russell wilson going to continue that type of play though like, well you you have that was a bread and butter at the very beginning so they went along with what they thought you got to understand that um to be honest in my opinion i'm not saying that the seattle seahawks wide receivers are trash they are not trash but i'm not going to say they're hall of famers in there they need a hall of fame wide receiver to spread the fucking field if I they mean, can they spread try, the field they try to get uh what's his name the tight end jimmy graham the, the, but that the, shit did not work out no the problem the problem for me is that these guys could see the seattle couldn't run the ball uh yeah. dallas's defense as much as seattle kept trying to establish the run mm -hmm. they couldn't do it um so that left basically the game up to russell wilson's arms and legs and, and he almost wasn't won enough it. he yeah. almost won it let's, he almost did but it wasn't get ourselves. Yeah. he I mean, came back uh the defense honestly the the pass interference call there was one that was bullshit it was pure bullshit but well, there was I mean, a lot of missed calls yeah sides. a lot of missed calls i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really complain about that but nah, there was a lot it, of missed calls on both sides but that's all over that's with the texans there was a lot of holding a, yeah. a lot of videos came out about uh holding jj and holding uh, uh oh man you, you know what there was a lot of on on like i think for well saturday's pretty much the only time i watched the games but there was a lot of face masks especially towards the quarterbacks and like there was yeah. no calls no calls i mean it's the playoffs uh nikki nikki i mean you just got to play through it and that's the thing you can't worry about that stuff and as far as the cowboys they did their job they won at home mm -hmm. um and uh that you know they faced a seattle seahawks team with injured injured uh, a secondary mm -hmm. um and they have no real number one wide receiver and if you notice uh dallas kept keeping them like usually when they have like a hall of fame wide receiver they have a coverage two on one they never had two on one it was always man man to man right. so you know we'll see how it goes uh, uh as far as uh seahawks they look they're gonna be really good man um, uh, you think they're gonna I, I mean I, I think they, they were supposed think... to be rebuilding and they were in the playoffs yeah so i'm um, to me, that's true to me it's like they're uh, i would say they're they're a good wide receiver cornerback away from being back to where they were before mm -hmm. before because their pass rush, they have rookies uh, in their defensive line, and they're mm -hmm. playing great. And they have uh, rookies, and their cornerbacks are learning, getting that experience. Earl Thomas might resign with him, might not. I think he's a free agent after this year. They need um, a freaking running game to help out Russell. Yeah, uh, but if it's just going to be Russell again, throwing to these wide receivers and trying to make, trying to yeah. carry the team. They, they, yeah, they might make it to the playoffs again, but they, to win a Super Bowl, to make it deep, they need a running game. All right. Well, let's uh, let's talk about the today's games, Sundays. Uh, the first game of the day was Chargers at the Ravens. All right. Let, let me talk a little bit about that game, right? Oh yeah. Go ahead. All right. Because um, uh, the first time they played each other, Baltimore and San Diego. Uh, of course, um, San Diego lost. Uh, they got ran all over. Los Angeles. And, Los Angeles, San Diego, same <laughs> shit, same fucking, same California. Um, anyway, uh, so the Chargers here, uh, they came and they came with the game plan that the Browns did. Uh, you notice know last time I mentioned it, mm -hmm. they dared Lamar Jackson to throw. And here's the thing, guys, you're gonna hear on ESPN, on NFL, all these ex players that Lamar Jackson and the running game, and he reminds me of Michael Vick. No, he doesn't. <laughs> the running game doesn't last in the NFL, especially in the playoffs. Yeah. Ask Robert Griffin. The running game does not last. Ask Michael Vick. Yeah. Um, you know, this type of, if, if you're one dimensional, you're going to be stopped in the playoffs. And San Diego came to play. They had revenge on their mind, and they came to play. Melvin LA. Gordon dominated. LA, whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin Gordon dominated, dominated that defensive line. Um, no, he didn't dominate. He had 40 yards and a touchdown. Me I mean. Melvin Gordon. I'm talking about the, not Melvin Gordon. I'm talking about the def defensive end for the. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Ingram, Ingram, and Ingram. And Melvin had, uh, Ingram. Yeah, Melvin and Ingram. Joe, and Bosa. Joe Bose, Bose, Joey Bosa. Joe, Joey Joe Bosa. Joey Bosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Both Melvin those guys Ingram. played their butts off on the defensive line for great. the LA Chargers. Um, basically, what what the game came down today was exactly like jp says the ravens tried to establish that run and and la wasn't gonna let that happen um their d their, their 
defense. It was a defensive battle both ways because uh, yeah. Ravens defense played really well against. They played really uh, well too against the Chargers. Yeah. It's just that LA had that you know better off better offense and just you know and and Ravens just didn't. The uh, Ravens, I think they have a great running game, including their quarterback. But if Lamar Jackson, which I understand he's a rookie, he barely got in there midseason. That's true. He has a, he has a long way to go, a long way to develop. Which I, I mean, he could probably do it. Um, but the guy needs to develop an arm because if, like JP says, if they just you know lean on that running game and defense, y- yeah, they might have another similar season. But if they want to go that extra mile, they want to make it to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson needs to start making clutch clutch throws. And uh, I mean, if if the, if the Ravens were back in 2000, 2001, 1999, 98, they probably would make a pretty good push in the playoffs, but um, not not in this day and age. The way uh, the NFL, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, but I gotta give Philip Rivers a lot of credit. I started out this year, this season. Yeah, you, know, you sure did. You sure did. Please, I, I'll admit Please. it. I admit it. Uh, I, I started, you know, just thinking Philip Rivers is washed up. You know, he needs. He, I think he's still. I, I didn't. I didn't give what? Him the, what did you say, Elias? He's washed. Oh my God! I don't think he is, bro. Because today, I predicted it. Today he made no. those no. clutch throws. Now he didn't have a great, like a spectacular, a great, game. Stat, great game. But he won. But defense. when it came to those third downs and longs, when they needed to keep the drive going, when they uh, needed to get downfield, when they needed to wait, like th- those first downs, the guy yeah. made the throws. Um, and, and really good throws. There was one throw that he threw to Antonio Gates that was <laughs> right over the linebacker. Oh, Antonio beautiful. Gates, the ageless wonder. This mother. <laughs> the ageless wonder. <laughs> this fool coming back from retirement to basically again be the same do the same thing he's done his whole career is be that safety that bow for security blanket security blanket for uh philip rivers coming up with clutch first downs clutch catches it's just an all-around great performance by the la chargers i i would be very afraid of who who are they facing next week Patriots. Mm -hmm. oh new england needs to be prepared because Philip Rivers is not no joke. That defense is not no joke. They can pressure. They're fast in the secondary. Their safeties hit like mm-hmm. linebackers. Mm-hmm. It, it's 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 a really good win by the Chargers. Really tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, but man, they uh, in Baltimore too. Uh, very um, well, their defense. To play in. Baltimore's defense is going to be legit for the next two or three oh, years. No Guaranteed. doubt. No doubt. Uh, they're too young. Um, their offense is what's lacking, and honestly, because Joe Flacco's not yep. going to be on the team, a lot of people were chanting for Joe Flacco to get on the field. Um, and then I, uh, Jackson started that fourth quarter comeback. Um, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people were ta- were clamoring for Flacco to come in. No, and I, mean, I don't look, think the coaching. St- if I, if it was me, I would honestly, done I it. think Flacco's done in Baltimore. Yeah, he is. Yeah, He's, I the coach think came so. out, after today. The, the coach came out. Sure. The coach came out and was like, "I'll support Joe Flacco wherever he goes." Huh. <laughs> So I'm yeah, he, uh, it's he's, gone, he's gone to New York, boys. Basically, uh, he said that uh, Flacco has there's a market out there for Flacco. Yeah, there really is, is what he said. No, there, there is. is. Yeah. So well, for I a mean, coach to say that, duh, they're 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 moving on, you know. And I, I will say this, uh, for for the Baltimore Ravens, this season was a success because they were not supposed to be in the playoffs. Um, Joe Flacco probably would have got, I, in my opinion, I know Los is going to hate on this, but Joe Flacco, Joe Flacco has been proven. I think if they would have put him after the second quarter, they probably would have done something. Because um, Joe Flacco, because there's there's something called playoff Joe Flacco. And playoff Joe Flacco has won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And, and, and has gone to the Patriots and beat the Patriots mm-hmm. at home. So, I mean, let, let's, let's be clear on that. But it's it's playoff Joe Flacco. What we need is regular season Joe Flacco to do his job. And that's the thing that happened with him. And they moved on. You can tell they moved on. Um, I hope it works out for Baltimore. They don't regret it. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. Quarterbacks they, nowadays are mm-hmm. hard to find. Mm-hmm. And in my personal opinion, and you guys can hate on me for it. Y'all can mm-hmm. talk mm-hmm. shit about me. Mm-hmm. To me, it looks like Lamar Jackson will be a running quarterback that cannot throw, in my personal opinion. He's that already... cannot throw? That cannot throw. He's 22, 23 years old. He reminds me a lot of Jamarcus Russell when he first came to the league and how Jamarcus Russell was running people over, but he couldn't throw with the shit. Like Emmanuel mm. Sanders. He reminds yeah, me of someone like but, that. but, I mean, the guy has a lot to develop. He's I the mean, youngest yeah. quarterback to ever make it to a playoff game. Um, 
So I think there's a ways to go before we can give a final verdict. No, I'll give my final the, verdict now. <laughs> um, but I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think he he can develop. I think he can learn. I think the coaches, it's on them to develop a system where Lamar Jackson can succeed. If that's the route they're gonna take, then build the system around him. Man. Um, <sighs> But, uh, man, L.A. Chargers going through. Uh, congratulations to them. Uh, <laughs> Philip Rivers proving me wrong every week. Philip Rivers. Every trying week to, he – yeah, trying, Philip Rivers. trying to feed his yes, uh, 200 yes, kids. Sir. I see. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to have 10 kids. He's going to have 10 kids. Jeez. Man, that boy was great. Um, uh, every week right. he's in those clutch – last thing. Every week he, he's he been in those clutch moments and the guy comes through. So, uh, you know, I shut me up, man. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to the last game of Sunday night. And that is the Bears, Blue Bears versus Nick. the Eagles. Bye, Lewis. Bears were at bye, home. bye, Lewis. Bye, Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, Lewis Medrano. You know how he's always oh, up on this. Chicago and they lost? His name is oh. Lewis Poole. Oh, David. I'm sorry. I confused. <laughs> they both suck. <laughs> Lewis and David. They're both trash. Anyway. Uh, man, uh, <laughs> Nick, Nick Foles, man. Wow. This guy, I think if. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen this season, but I think it's pretty clear cut now. You need a bye bye Carson Wentz. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, er, yeah. if Car you're giving all this money to Wentz. He's nowhere to be seen. He's always injured. I exactly. And even when he's on the field, it, it was. Uh, well, let me say this. Let me say I mean, this. But Nick, Nick, Foles. Nick Foles' contract is good. over. Nick, Nick Foles' contract is over this year. Like oh, he's sure. going, I think he's going somewhere else to go get paid. Me too. I, Bro, I think so if, too. If, yeah. if Eagles don't commit to him and give him that big paycheck, which they're dumbasses, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. Come, on, you gotta pay Nick Foles and get rid of the other guy, whoever the hell it is. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't it uh, Mark Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> no, you you gotta pay Nick Foles because the guy, man, he's he's clutch. He did make some mistakes today uh, against Chicago, but it is the uh -huh. Chicago Bears defense, which is pretty legit. Um, but man, he, he played a great game. Uh, the running game uh, was really nowhere to be seen. It was all on Nick Foles, really. Um, 21 yards by Darren Sproles running. Smallwood, 20 yards. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. It, it was it was it was Nick Foles making the plays uh, and giving it out to everybody. Alshon Jeffrey, <coughs> Zach Ertz came up with some great first downs. Golden Tate came up with that uh, clutch touchdown to win the game. Aguilar getting clutch catches. Mm -hmm. um, Ashawn and, uh, Jeffries. Yeah, uh, just all around. Nick Foles distributing the ball. It, he's the point guard of that of that team. I mean, I don't see how you can, you know, not keep this guy and pay him. You got to be dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, Trubisky though, on the other end for Chicago, great game. Um, did not mm -hmm. really expect him to. Mm -hmm. To play the kind of game he did play, but 303 yards, one touchdown. Um, like for me, a rookie quarterback like that, first playoff game, a crazy atmosphere. He's not it wasn't rookie. his fault. It, it, oh, he's not. It's his second year. Yeah, second, second year. year. Oh, okay. Sorry, um, man. For him to, uh, it wasn't his fault they lost. He actually got them in position mm -hmm. with very minuscule time left on the clock, mm -hmm. but to end the game. Uh, well, I mean, Cody Parker, huh. uh, miss, MVP misses for the Philadelphia the, Eagles <laughs> after the crazy season where he missed. He, you know, he 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 led the league in most misses, um, uh, for a kicker. Bound, oh, and the clutch timeout by uh, the coach, uh, the Eagles coach. What, right, what's right. his name? I forget, don't worry about him. Uh, the clutch timeout, uh, because. <laughs> Cody kicked it, made the field goal. There was a timeout called. Uh, Ice is Cody Parker. He had to go up there and do it again, and bo like dings it off the post twice to miss it. Crazy game, crazy ending, crazy ending of the wild card. Uh, what do you think about the game, uh, JP? I mean, I'm not gonna give too much credit to the Bears' offense. Uh, one of those, the touchdown he threw, that should have been intercepted. It just bounced off the cornerback's hand, ended up in in, in in the wide receivers. He played an okay game. It's not his fault they lost. Um, I will say that, and he did put him in position to at least uh, attempt to, uh, to to win. Okay. So I'll give him credit for that. But to say that the offense was great, uh, that's no. I think Trubisky specifically for a young quarterback. <sighs> 
played great. I don't think he had a, uh, one of the greatest games of all time. I think I don't know. for a young guy, Russell compared Wilson, to, for example, other young quarterbacks. Russell Wilson stuff, went to the Super Bowl with his rookie year. So I, I mean, I, that, that team, well, well, the, the Bears this season was... I, I feel like they were carried more by their defense. Yeah, they were. I, I, and defensively, defensively, Chicago played a pretty good game. And the thing is, we, we, we haven't given enough credit to uh, the game plan that the Eagles came in. The Eagles came out firing. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't running the ball very well. Uh, but they came out firing, and they're mm -hmm. tied in. They came up with some plays at the end. And and, and Nick Foles played an okay game, too. Um, he, he made the throws when that he needed to make to win mm -hmm. the game. Correct. So... I mean, but then again, let's not kid ourselves. The Bears' defense is really, really good. And so yeah, but the Eagles played great defense, too. It was a defensive game yeah. for the most and part. Honestly, a lot of field goals. If, a lot of... If, that pass, if that pass would have been interception by the cornerback, we're talking about a whole totally different game. That's mm -hmm. minus six points. So there to was me, a lot of, like, 50-50 yeah. calls in yeah. this game. Yeah, uh, they can go you know, either reviews. way. Yeah, it, it was back but, and forth. Hey, look, Eagles have life, and... They're just reminding me of like uh, when the Giants went to uh, the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they they went to Atlanta and beat mm -hmm. Atlanta at Atlanta. Uh, they went to Green Bay and beat Green Bay at Green Bay. And sometimes you got to get lucky calls and lucky plays. And uh, that kicker missing that field goal was a lucky play in their yeah. favor. So right now they're going to New Orleans, which is going to be a very interesting game because New Orleans – they have i feel like new orleans is gonna come out rusty man and i think new orleans doesn't know what's gonna hit them because the eagles want some payback for that okay game. so now now that you're into next week uh let's let's start talking about the next next yeah let's start matchup. let's start with the first game of next week and that's gonna sure. be the colts versus the chiefs yeah the chiefs being the number one seed in the afc 12 and 4 the colts being six seed 11 and 6. uh what do you guys see uh happening here i mean this is a whole Honestly? other team versus Versus, uh, like we were saying, an O line that was uh, that's actually been protecting their quarterback. Let me do my prediction. All right, I predict the Colts are going to win. I predict, I predict that they're going to win. Uh, I would say twenty-seven to twenty-three. Mm. Um, I I don't see Kansas City having a very great defense. They have a great defensive line. Uh, they're they have no. They're like the Texans. They have no 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 safeties. No <laughs> well no cornerbacks. So um, offensively though. Um, I feel like the the defense is coming with some momentum for the Colts, mm -hmm. so I I think that they will stop them. They don't really get burned a lot. They do the Tampa two, which basically a lot stops the big plays. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like Indy's gonna come in there and and come out with a victory. I'm I'm hoping for a quarterback showdown. I, that's what I want to see uh, in my oh, heart. Now Pat Mahomes, do you get what like fifty exactly. touchdowns? And, Look, man, I think this is the kind of game that, you know, if Andrew Luck, you know, continue, wants to show that, hey, man, y'all better put him in the discussions for, you know, top quarterbacks in the league. Um, this is one of those games he has to show up uh, and he has to put the team on his back mm -hmm. and and carry them. Because um, like, like JP says, um, Kansas City has been susceptible to you know, big plays, uh, uh, being attacked over the air. So come, this is Andrew Luck. Uh, you know, if T.Y. Hilton's really about it, mm -hmm. show up. If Andrew Luck's really about it, you got to show up. Um, I, I, It's going to be a hard task. I mean, because KC has a lot of firepower, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Has a lot of stars on that offense. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of can the Colts keep up and can they overtake KC in that aspect? So what do you think? Get to the prediction. What do you predict? Uh, you know, it, it, I want, I, deep down I want Andrew to get that game, uh, to show everybody, hey, to show Mahomes respect. But, man, I think KC's going to take it, man. I think it's going to be 28-21. Um, uh, wow. Uh, I love Andrew Luck, Lucky Duck. He's going to be losing next Saturday. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. But anyways, uh, the game after that, uh, Dallas at the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, the, the Rams are susceptible to, to being run over, mm -hmm. uh, but they have a very good secondary. But playoffs is something totally different. It's a whole brand new season. Uh, offensively, I mm -hmm. feel like uh, they run the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rams are going to win this game easily. Uh, they just got to run with Todd Gurley. 
Um, uh, the offensive line for the Rams is very underrated. No one really talks about them. They're actually a pretty good offensive line. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're going to win, um, I would say, maybe 23 to 17, uh, the Rams win. Um, I, oh, okay. yeah, the this is on, on paper, the Rams should win this game. Yeah, the Rams right? should if you're, win if, this if, on If paper. you're going on, on, but I've seen the Rams, I, I've been keeping up with them, and they, they've had moments where their offense just doesn't show up. Mm -hmm. Where um, It's when they stop running the ball with Todd Gurley, that's when it happens. When Todd doesn't get going, uh, the quarterback can't just mistakes after mistakes mm -hmm. if they show up and they have one of those days very easily the cowboys can take this game because cowboys have a, a i think a better defense than whatever than what everybody gives them credit for i think their defense is really good run and pass wise um so if they can somehow stifle the la rams um offense mm -hmm. then that they're which i don't think the cowboys have great offense but they have a great running game if they can get their running game going they have a chance in this game now i mean it'll have to be one of the days where la just ain't ain't rolling i, I mean i don't know i can't really say how that match do your prediction cowboys. quit being scared do your prediction i think cowboys take it uh 21 17. wow all right. Well, obviously I'm a Cowboys fan, but I don't, man. I don't know how they go in to LA and win a game. Like that's, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's gonna be 69 to 54. <laughs> Los Angeles Rams. Fucking here, All right. And then on Sunday of next week, we have another Los Angeles team, the Chargers. Versus the New England Patriots. Fuck the Patriots. And the Patriots are <laughs> home, obviously. What uh, are I, we predicting here? In the frozen oh. tundra. The, I'm going, in, the fo in the frozen tundra of New England. Um, I feel like... Two old men duking it out. Well, um, I, honestly, I feel like Philip Rivers had a better year this year than, than Tom Brady. Sure, uh, to, he to can be yeah, I'll give him quite funny. Yeah, yeah, I'll give Tom Brady the last decade, but Philo can have yeah, a year. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, Tom Brady has been decades of cheating. We know this. He's been caught. He's been proven. Um, Winning. Uh, cheating, I guess. Uh, asterisk marks. Winning. And then uh, also, you know, we know that he's lost. Um, Eli, da Eli Manning, his daddy. Um, beat Lowe's twice and shoved Dick right in Lowe's ass. I don't twice. know what that has to do and, with. Uh, uh, we all back up. No, because you're trying to bring it up. Um, well, um, yeah, I'm not yeah. bringing it. And we already know that Napoleon Dynamite, aka Nick Foles, went and beat Tom Brady too. So he has a history of losing. Uh, but as far as the playoffs, um, the only teams, it's been very hard to beat New England at New England. Very but, hard. But uh, the teams that have been able to do so, like Baltimore, Go on um, to win Super Bowls. They go on to win Super Bowls, and the the way to do it is to run the ball and to throw uh, to throw very well and play really good defense, which oh, is normal, okay. right? So just... uh, but I think the San Diego has all the players for that type of mix. Um, mm -hmm. They have a good pass rush. They have great safeties and corners. Um, their linebackers are pretty decent. Um, offensively, I don't think the San Diego is going to struggle like they struggled with LA. Uh, Baltimore. I mean, uh, uh, whatever, same shit. Uh, <laughs> Chargers is not going to struggle like they did with uh, Baltimore. Baltimore has a way, 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 way more better defense than uh, Patriots. Uh, but I feel like uh, the, the, the Chargers are going to come up on top. Uh, I predict 27 to 21. Damn, JP, you got a lot of like upsets this next week. <clears throat> I'm telling um, you. Hey man, I Philip Rivers has had a great year. Um, uh, he shut me up, but now mm -hmm. he's going up against a real team, uh, a championship caliber team, an experienced team where they don't lose. Um, <laughs> now, yeah, they do. They just last last year. Think, they just lost last year. What are you talking about? Do I think last LA? Year. Do I think LA has a better <clears throat> team than, right now than New England? Yes. I think LA has an all-around better team. Chargers. But they don't, yeah, the Chargers, yeah, LA That's Chargers. Uh, I think they have an all-around all better team than New England. I think they got better players. I think they have um, 
a, be a better defense for sure. Um, but they don't have Tom Brady. And they don't have Bill Belichick. So, I know, boy. Same uh, thing I'll that be I, dumb. I see. Man, I'll, at this I'll point, be... the Patriots don't even have Gronkowski. Like, where has he been at? Um, he's, yeah. he's he's done, bro. He, he has bad knees, bad back. He's, yeah, he's yeah. gonna have to retire. He's gonna he's gonna play. Uh, he hasn't had a great season, but I expect him. You, you know, Gronk cares about legacy. As almost all New England players do. Yeah, but Gronk and, has been even in talking about retiring already. Yeah, and that's fine. So, and Ellie, I yeah, think he wants to, to go Patriots out. Fanboy. I, I think he wants to leave with a bang, right? He's gonna leave, right? This is last year, his his farewell farewell season. So the guy's gonna show up. I expect a big <laughs> game out of big game out of Gronk. Um, it's just, I'll be dumb. Just as so many people have throughout the years to bet against the Patriots. It's just not smart, you know. You you bet against him so many year. times. Oh um, man, it worked out fine for me. I bet on. Uh, what, what, didn't I bet with Losa when they lost uh, twice? No, I don't guys? bet against you because you don't pay uh, your bets. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> and then with Nick Foles, Nick Foles too. I don't bet against you. <laughs> yeah, if I remember pay correctly. Your bets. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I you were pretty quiet to people. take it. Uh, 24, 21. I think it's going to be a close game, but I think Tom Brady's going to do what he does all the time, drive him down the field for that game-winning field goal. Nice. All right. Let's go into the last game of next Sunday. And that's going to be the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New Orleans Saints. All right. <clears throat> I have a, uh, I have a lot of coworkers that are New Orleans fans. They're actually, from, they're actually from New Orleans. They're not Houston fans. They're bandwagon. Uh, they're actually from New Orleans. Uh, they, uh, they're, they're, they're all ecstatic. Um, you, we all know New Orleans history uh, of having home field advantage. We know how loud that stadium gets. We know the history with it. The last time that happened, um, that they have uh, first uh, the first um, seed, they went straight to the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and they won the Super Bowl. So I would have gone for them if it had been any other team. But St. Nick, man. St. Nick, uh, <laughs> Nick has come to play. Um, the Bears have a better defense than uh, New Orleans. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, New Orleans has a better <laughs> offense than Chicago. This is just a toss-up for me. I, I expect a great game. I expect it to be a high-scoring game. I expect mm -hmm. it to be thirty-eight to thirty-four. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, that's a good. That's a high-scoring game. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, I hope it's like that. And and I honestly, honestly, I know it's gonna sound fucked up, but I don't give a shit who wins this game because whoever wins this game, to me, this is a Super Bowl for the NFC. Whoever is gonna go. Um, I, I I agree with that. I think whoever wow. comes out of this game. Go is, Super Bowl. Is, is is going to the Super Bowl? Um, because first of all, Philly's running off the end of this this last half of the season is on the roll, shows it today, still on that roll. Um, but man, Drew Brees in in the fucking Superdome. Ah oh, man, that that's tough to go yeah. against. Bro. Well, I, I think mean, he's gonna have a huge game. New Orleans. He loves playing in front of those fans, and and he loves putting up points in front of those fans, and no that. Stadium that dome goes crazy for the Saints. I mean, I, I know this is so. A... I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna bet against um, the Eagles. I, I think the Saints are gonna take it. But if somehow Saint Saint Nick, which <laughs> Saint I, I wouldn't Nick. be surprised, comes through with comes through in this game and wins it, I think JP's right. That whoever is coming out of this game is going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and, and and I mean that's. I know this is a whole different era, but Eagles have gone into New Orleans and been New Orleans. Um, Maybe different coaching staff, different players, of course. But Eagles have had a history of playing really well in the Superdome. Mm -hmm. um, let's not forget, that's where Reggie Bush found out what the NFL really was it, um, <laughs> when he got knocked the fuck out. Um, so, uh, Poor Reggie Bush. Eagles have history there. I I, I don't know who's going to win. I honestly don't um, with the way Nick Foles. You would assume on paper, Drew Brees should win this game. But with St. Nick, I don't know. And the yeah, defense the way he's playing. Just what was it, week uh week eleven where the Saints uh blew out the Eagles forty eight to seven in uh, New Orleans. Yeah, Carson Wentz. Um, bro. I don't I don't think yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a repeat of that. Oh, but I they're think, gonna remember but, that though for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's exactly. what I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I think I think Philly's coming in there. It's hard to beat a team twice in the season. Mm -hmm. Um uh, like that once in the season once I don't think it's gonna be that much of a blowout. I hope it's not as an NFL fan um, But man, I just drew Brees in that stadium I just I think after last year and that and that's that that game against Minnesota um, 
I think Drew Brees remembers that, you know, exiting the playoffs, knowing they had a really good chance to make it last year. Mm-hmm. And the way that game ended when they should have won that game uh, because of a missed tackle. Mm-hmm. I think he still has that chip on his shoulder. I, regard, I think Philly's playing really well, but I don't think that stops Drew Brees. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is the this is the Super Bowl here. Um, yep. I mean, so, I, I'm sorry. Who, who'd you say you, you're picking, JP? Damn. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll try to be neutral. I don't know, bro. I really he don't said, know he said Philly. He, he thinks said Philly's going to take it. Philly. Yeah. Look, right, I'm going right. to go. Look, I'm not going to go for either one. Because I saw no, no, no. more. You got to no, pick you, somebody. Yeah, but you, you're pick, pick to win. All right, since I'm picking all upsets, I'll, I'll pick another upset. I'll pick Eagles. Oh. Wow. 38 to 34. Okay, we're watching that game on my crew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, tell you're going to make them. Them make them, them bomb man. ass wings. Hey. Yeah, but not put not to put Sriracha, put the yeah. Bosco. Put, 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 uh, what's that? What's that? Red Hot? The the Buffalo sauce? I don't know. No, just put just buy the just buy the sauce from uh for the for uh the from Brewings. Buy the sauce from Brewings and then uh, just put we'll uh, and then put we'll uh, and then put the hot uh, hot lemon uh, pepper. Uh, 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 hey, but uh, man, <laughs> hey, I think the playoffs have been pretty entertaining so week mm-hmm. except for the Texas uh, so game last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, some of the games have been meh, and they have David, but I, I, I like I like the grittiness of the playoffs. A lot of defensive play, a lot of like uh, low scoring games, which right. I like. That's mm-hmm. I, you know I like that about the playoffs. I can't wait till the weather gets shittier. I hope next week we see some some bad weather games because that's the extra topping uh, on mm-hmm. the playoffs. So we'll see. Uh, I'm excited, man. Yeah, I'm so excited. Far, the players, too. And then we get the big number one and two teams next week. So we really see what these teams are made of, uh, where boys become men. Yeah. <laughs> boys become men. <laughs> so Los is a boy. Wow. So we're watching the games this weekend then. Um, uh, like I said, one one pick a day, whatever days you want to do, and we can watch it. Yeah. Yeah, either Saturday or Sunday. I'm not doing both days. It would have yeah. to be a Saturday. Let's do it. Saturday yeah, I mean, it's the same thing like last week. No, Saturday. Saturday's podcast. No, I know, but we do, we're do. we going to have to do the same thing anyways as last week. Oh, this week. Well, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Whatever the games are on. But yeah, but yeah guys. It's the same uh, times. This should... Uh, thank you guys for watching on Twitch. Yes, thank you. Um, this will be are on YouTube even watching uh, yeah. Tuesday. How many uh, people Tuesday, are watching right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I guess this is going to wrap up the, the cam show for today. But, Wait, hold uh, on, hold on. How many people are watching this? Oh my God, bro. I don't know, like five, four. <laughs> well, thank you, four, five, for watching. Oh my God. <laughs> uh yeah this is gonna wrap it up for the cam show basically uh the cam show isn't just football we're gonna do a bunch of stuff uh too <laughs> uh and it the camp, bye, show, bye. the camp show is always going to be different depending on what the situation is going on during that week or whatever but right now since the nfl playoffs are going on and super bowl is coming up we decided just to do it uh specifically on, on the playoffs and nfl cheese and but of course, uh, if you can't catch it live, uh, the VOD will stay on Twitch, and it'll also be up on the YouTube side at the Three Way Podcast. Uh, and of course, we have a podcast that's every Monday mornings. That's right. <laughs> Dulce Girls is laughing at Public Enemy. Uh, every Monday mornings, it comes out at six a.m. on YouTube, and of course, on all podcast platforms that's uh spotify apple podcast google podcast anchor which is uh, allowing us to distribute the podcast on all different platforms and yeah then and t- please uh on the vod on on you know this is going to be up uh, throughout the week so let us know what your predictions are um what do you guys predict for this upcoming uh weekend what do you think about this weekend's games is the playoffs living up to your expectations do you think it's trash or just fuck football in general let us know <laughs> uh and of course uh this is go- this goes up on tuesdays on yes. youtube uh on wednesdays of course we have our hump day shows and uh we're just trying to make more content for you guys and every week we're trying to get better and you know just improve uh, but so far, it's been great, and thank you for watching and listening. And I look guess, at my dog! Look how oh my cute God. my dog is! And I think that's it for us tonight. But I'm gonna go ahead and stream tonight. If you guys want to catch that on my personal channel, that's JRX4X. I don't what know. Are what are you streaming? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I kind of want to continue playing Hell's Blade or Hellblade, whatever it's called. This dick. But uh, nah. I haven't decided yet. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's been. Jake hey, Elias. Ma matter of fact, uh, if you want, we can play uh, that that game because uh, I, I don't go in until tomorrow, so ten thirty. Nah, uh, uh, Monster Hunter. Oh shit. Let's just play Stead of Decay, bro. We all have that Monster shit. Monster fucking Hunter, mate. Uh, I don't know. We'll see right now. But uh, thanks again for everyone. That's JP and Los. Los is the dragon. It's Puff the dragon. I don't know. Say oh, bye, Beaver. And that's Say bye. Up. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. Peace, guys. See you guys.